Today we review the Equipe RS Rain Jacket Targa from ASOS. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review, I introduce ASOS's spin on a rain shell. It's uh, the, an evolution of their rain jacket Evo, they call it Targa. Targa means basically convertible. I mean, it, it means what they mean is you can remove it, fold it, put it up, and so forth. Um, with the ring coming this week, um, I will probably be using the jacket, so I wanted to do a full review here. I'm going to start with the jacket itself, and then we'll get into the tech stuff. For those of you who are, are like me, and I want to understand what all the technical fabrics are that ASUS is using. Why do I like this jacket? First of all, I love the color. I'm not into wearing all black, especially when it's rainy, cloudy, cold, whatever. And what I like about this jacket is the versatility. The jacket is extremely breathable. So basically, you're not just spending, you know, your cycling budget, it can get out of hand because, you know, our sport, we have a lot of expensive stuff in there. And so I like to get things that have multiple uses. This is so breathable that you can wear it as a layer in colder weather to keep you warm or you can use it to warm up you can put it on going down the descent and so forth so this could replace the need for a windbreaker or some other shell so it's another layer and then also it is waterproof and extremely breathable so that means when you put it on you're not going to boil let's look at it they call it schlossund and that's their phrase that they use for these fabric they call it a schloss tex fabric that is proprietary ASOS. And the fabric in this evolution in the Targa, they made it more durable because they added another membrane. When we start getting into the tech, you will really get an appreciation for it. I decided to try this because I'm holding it right now and it's very light. It is supposed to be very packable. So when I'm on the bike and I take something off, you don't have a whole lot of time with wind and traffic and so forth. So I want something that will fold up fairly easily because you're not at home where you can take your time to fold it up. So the fabric is very light, which allows you, I've just, I've just folded the collar here as you can see. And the way I like to do it on the bike is just kind of roll it. Because if you have to, to access it again, let's say the rain stops and you take it off or you get warm, you want to just take it off and flip it. And you can see, this is a size large jacket. You can see how small that is. That will easily fit. And I really didn't do it very tightly on purpose just to see. So it's very packable, very light. And when you take it off, like so when you take it out, you can just do this and put it on. But let's look at what's in this jacket. I want to talk about the seams. The quality of ASOS really stands out. These seams are all taped. That keeps the water out. Okay, and then there's no seam down the middle because that can be a problem. What they did is they used a reflective tape that has no stitching. And then the bottom of the jacket has a, it's almost like a silicone gripper. They're really small and they go around the whole bottom of the jacket and that will keep it in place, especially when your pockets are loaded up. It's got a double zip, very high quality double zip. Okay, this tag, they, they've been doing this a lot. They say have a good ride. This is not the reason they put that on there. This is there to keep the zipper from rubbing up against your Lycra shorts and damaging your expensive shorts. And they have another tab to keep that from making your neck uncomfortable. When I put it on, you will see what I'm talking about. So they really focus on the details. But besides the fact that this thing is so lightweight, it's also gonna keep the water off. In this iteration, they have another one that they call the Evo that has slots on the back that you can reach in to get into your pockets. They did not do this on the Targa. They eliminated that, which made it even more watertight because you have double zip and you can access your pocket by zipping up. I am not a fan of rain jackets that have pockets in it because that just doesn't make sense because whatever it is you're going to put in the pockets you don't want it to get wet 
So unless the pocket has a cover, there's no point to that. You know, and some people in their reviews and their comments they say, oh, the only thing I would, I would ask for is pockets on here. There's no reason. You're going to be covering up your jacket or whatever else that you're wearing to keep the water from getting in your pocket and getting things wet. You know, I carry a camera on most of the rides. I don't want water soaking up the camera. So let me go ahead and put it on before we get into the tech technical stuff. And I will not be wearing it with just a base layer. So imagine there's a jersey on and then you put this on. But I want to show you how well it fits without a second layer that you would normally have. And this is an all year jacket. It's not just, it's not for winter or any particular time. It is a shell that you can use all year, all season long. That's another reason I like it. You see how I'm putting it on? I put my arm up because this is designed to fit aerodynamically and I don't want to stretch the seams. It, it fits your body really well. And it's Russell free fabric. You're not going to be riding down the road listening to your fabric doing that. It does not do that. Let me go ahead and put the double zip in. The zip is made out of metal. Very robust. A lot of these you have to line them up carefully because there are two of them. So you get the top in first. And then you got to get this in the bottom like that. So it's easy to do when you're standing here. It's harder to do. When you're actually on the bike, you can still get it done, but you got to make sure the conditions are right because you're going to be hands free riding at that point. Now that it's in, I usually just hold the zip here like this and just go up. And the reason I'm doing this, I want you to see that little neck tab, how it keeps this zipper from digging into your neck. Look how the, look how the jacket fits. Also's really big. They push their the fit as being aerodynamic. This is part of the RS line, which is the racing series. Uh, other vendors have different, like uh, Castelli has Rossa Corsa, and then uh, Rafa has Pro Team. So this is the World Tour line. The, uh, they call it racing series. They have jerseys, shorts, and so forth. I'll be reviewing in a little while. But anyway, it fits really well. When you're standing, it appears to be a little uncomfortable here, but when you do this, all of that disappears. So this is designed for being on the bike. It's not designed for you to go out and get coffee and all that. I mean, you can, but it's not gonna feel really great. Like right now I'm standing, right here feels very tight, but when I get in the riding position, it disappears and it's very comfortable. So that tells me that They've been doing it long enough to where they're not just making garments anymore. They are actually creating uh, uh, what I called uh, test garments because ASOS has a lab. And I'm saying test because there's really a caveat with the word test because it's not truly test. These guys are designing things that are solving problems in their earlier designs and earlier garments. And Rafa's trying to do the same thing as well, and so is Castelli. So they're not just making another jacket. They are improving upon the successful stuff they've already put out there. So how many people are thinking about, okay, how is this supposed to feel when I'm standing? How is this supposed to feel when I'm on the bike? They focus more on how it feels when you're on the bike and they don't worry about how it feels when you're standing because you're buying this to go ride. You're not buying this to walk when you're going down to the store or something like that. So they want it to be comfortable when you're in the riding position. And so all their stuff, most of the top guy, Rafa designs stuff similarly too. All their stuff really shines when you're on the bike. Even some of their bib shorts, you put them on the fuel tight, you get on the bike, ah, it just disappears. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's working. The whole time I'm standing here, I've worn other rain capes and so forth. I'm not hot. My body temperature, I'm standing here, there's no fan or anything running. Nothing has changed. And that tells me that I got a really good product here because it is very breathable. If you put on something warm, I could even wear like a, a long sleeve shirt I've got from like some of the Nike long sleeve shirt that I just have lying around that don't breathe very well. In this period of time, I would start to get hot. And that's not happening. I feel, there's no fan going, but when I do this, I feel the air going through. I don't know how they do it and then they keep water out. So they're talking about the material. So what I want to do now is take this off the sleeve. They've got some kind of a band on the sleeve. 
because of course you're going to be mating it with gloves or whatever depending on the time of the year and then look back here this is some kind of a light neoprene under here on both sides so when you're riding basically they're they're protecting this material from contact with maybe parts of the the bars or whatever i'm sure there's a good reason why this is there so i'm trying to figure out when your hands are like this yeah that makes more sense you can rub the bar. So they put a different material on here. Their goal in the Targa version, the evolution, they talk about this to make this more durable. It's very breathable. It's race proven. It's designed for when you're riding hard so that you don't boil. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And then I'm going to read the technical stuff for those of you who are into what's in the jacket. I'm going to hold the jacket in my hand just in case they talk about something that I can also show you at the same time. One thing about um, cycling clothes that fit you well, when you're taking it off, you need to not act like a bull in a china shop. Take your time and get it off. You can see what I'm doing. I'm not taking it off like I normally take off my, my t-shirts because I don't want to stretch the seams. They're made very delicately. They're not very inexpensive. So you need to take care of them so they can last. And you can see how I took them off. That's how you do it. Same thing when you're putting them on. I put one side on. I put my arm up to get through because if you do like that, you can stretch the garment too much and you can pop seams and so forth. And you can't blame them if you do that. So my first impression just putting this on. It's been here for a little bit sitting and I, had, I haven't worn it. But I am very, very impressed with how light it is, how breathable it is. So it's definitely a winner. And now I've got something that I can fold up, throw in my pocket. And if I want to warm up, going down a descent or whatever, put it on. If it starts to rain, put it on when it's done. You can take it out. Look how quickly that rolled up. And, you know, you can roll it smaller than that. Let's get on and look at the tech stuff here. So now uh, they call this the Equip RS Rain Jacket Targa, claiming that is the evolution of their super light packable waterproof rain jacket. That's the one I was talking about that has the slots on the back. They call it the uh, uh, RS rain jacket Evo or something like that. Okay, I, I chose this one because the slots on the back is a, is, a, is a spot for water ingress. And how often do you need to access your pockets during pouring rain that you must have slots there? And I felt like it would make more sense to have this more robustly protected against the rain and just use the zippers when I want to get in my pockets that I've covered with the jacket. So I, I went with this for that. This color is called Propeller Orange. They make it in this color and they make it in black. Um, let me go into the tech stuff. What they're talking about is the material used in this, they call their Schloss Tex material. It's their lightest three layer waterproof soft shell. They've got a rustle-free, stretchy composition, and highly breathable water-type membrane. But in addition to that, they actually add DWR treatment on top of the fact that the membrane is waterproof. So uh, the, the seams that I showed you that they taped ensure that the jackets remain watertight. Then they got a tall collar. So when you put it on, the collar is tall enough to make sure that you lock out the rain. Then they have an extended rear panel that's in the back. You can see how, let me do this. You see how the tail that will wrap around you. For those of you who don't use rain guard, uh, rain uh, fenders or mud guards, then that, that will help. I, don't, I, I like that this has an extended frame. I, I'm more interested in it going fully and covering my jersey and the pockets and its contents than my shorts. It's not designed to go over your shorts. It's designed to go far down to your lower back area. So it's not going to protect your entire rear if you don't run uh, mud guards. But uh, they, they stress that this is a water shedding silicone hem that I showed you. On the outside, there is like some kind of a, I think that's the silicone and then you've got the little grippers. I don't know what they're made of, but they're small and they really keep things in place. And the jacket is cut in an aerodynamic fit. It's the same size, whatever your normal ASO size is. 
you know, it's the same size. You, I didn't need a size up or anything. They talk about that double slider zipper where you can ventilate from the top or the bottom. And then they talked about the oversized pull tabs because they want glove friendly operation. What they're talking about is the zipper. Let me show that to you. The zipper is huge, okay? And it's easy to grab, either one of them. So when you're wearing gloves, it's not gonna be an issue. Look how big that is. They got the Asus design in the one on top, but it's huge. So they call it glove-friendly intuitive operation. Then they talk about the engineering, this reflective strip along the back. So even though they have the reflective strip, I picked this color because I wanted to be visible. The black is a little, you know, some people like black and that's fine, but the black also has that reflective strip. When light hits that, it pops. So in low light conditions, you're set. You're set to go. Then they make suggestions on when and how to use it. I kind of like that about ASOS. They give you suggestions. They call this uh, the Targas, with the, with the, they call it a super light versatile design. They recommend stowing the jacket in a rear pocket in the same manner you would a traditional year-round windshield. That's what I was talking about. This replaces the need for a windshield because you can use it as a windshield and as a waterproof rain jacket. Then it said you can also layer it over your other layers to block the wind and shield you from rain and add a touch of insulation in every riding season. So this one jacket, this one piece of kit will cover the need for a wind shell, wind vest, and so forth and so on. So that's, uh, that's just nice and versatile. And then to sum it all, the aesthetics. I'm gonna put it on again so you can see it. I love the aesthetics. I like how easy it is to put on. As my hand goes in, look at that. This, this little elastic down here, it just slides and sticks to your wrist, which is nice to keep the water out. And so while I was talking about, I put it on like this because if I tried to do this, it would stretch the garment too much. So I go up, get my arm in there, and the same thing, it just slides on. And look at that. The thing is built. So this is what they talked about. So you, you basically take the zipper, slide it into both, you line it up, and then this is the glove-friendly zipper tab. It's huge. You gotta make sure it's in the bottom too before you, you really try to use the zipper. That's, that's the only thing when you're, when you're lining it up. Because if you don't, this is what happens. See that? I didn't let it line up. So you can basically slide it back and make sure that this side gets in the second one. Once it gets in the second one, then you hold that with your thumb and bring this up. That's what any double zip garment. And they're getting very popular in cycling because they just work. This is what they were talking about back here. The tail coming down. What I like about it, when you have pockets back here, it will just wrap them. Okay? So this is the Equip RS Winter Jacket from ASOS of Switzerland. Get a copy because this is serious quality kit. If you're gonna ride in rain, cold, and other adverse conditions, this will really make a difference in your comfort. And plus, it just looks good. To that effect, let nothing stop you from getting a cave.